Hello, Gamer I'm Jack. And in this video, you will watch a Noob Katana user unlock the Saber, unlock Saber V2, and become pro. But before starting, show your support by using Star Code Gamer when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys, every time you use my Star Code, I get paid. Where the actor slam on oh, their dancing forward, that's your slam, that's the dump. In order to unlock the Saber, you need to do some stuff, like defeat chunks. Get to a specific level, yes, that's 220. Help some NPCs like the sick man. So, Gamer Gnome, why is it good to unlock the Saber? Guys, it's free, high damage, and has V2. Okay, so are you ready to unlock this sword and become pro? But first, we're gonna buy the katana for 1000 bellies. So, in order to do that, you can grind some chests around the area or defeat bandits. So, it's up to you. So, let's defeat some bandits. We're gonna do both guys, defeat some bandits to get some cash as reward, also get some chests, okay? So as you can see, we're level 5, just one chest and we will be getting 1000 bellies and that's it, we're gonna buy the katana. Why katana game now? Because this is sword too, so we're gonna become a sword main here in this video. And again, we need some requirements, so let's grind first, okay? There you go, actually it's kinda easy. Especially when you're starting the game. And we are at level 7. Here are the stats. Check it out. 19 sword. And to make things faster, we're gonna head to the Fountain City. Okay, let's defeat some galley pirates. Yeah, everyone knows this. The Fountain Strat, etc. So just use left clicks and that's it. There is a chance that you might die. But keep on using your left click and that's it guys. See that? Very easy. There you go. With just one kill, you will reach level 24. And here are the stats. There you go. Put all the stats on that sword to make things faster, right? So guys, we're gonna continue on defeating this mob until we reach level 60. That is my favorite uh, level here to reach. Before we decide and move on to our next island. Let's do some stat check first. There you go, 15 mil defense, 150 sword. Next up guys is the desert. So guys, here again, there are two mobs, but guys, check this out. We have a chest here. So guys, part of the update, every time you see a cursed chest, just defeat it, okay? There's a high chance that it might give you experience, I mean, two times experience. Also, this will give you bones. You can uh, spin it later on Death King. There you go, see the guys level up. So first up, the Desert Bandits. Yeah, keep on defeating them until level 75. Because again, we need to reach a certain level that is 220 to unlock the Saber, okay? So after that, 75. Next stop, guys, Desert Officers. So same strategy. Actually, uh, it's easy to defeat again. There you go, left clicks and some skills. By the way, we have two skills for the Katana. The Quiet Rush and the Air Slash. Okay. Another Cursed Chest. Actually, this one's better if you want to grind. Especially when you have two times experience. Easy to defeat. Uh, also gives out bones and gives out decent experience. Okay, there you go. We're gonna level up here, I guess. There you go. See that, guys? <laughs> we even leveled up. Okay, so at level 90, here are the stats. I'm gonna show you the stats first before we move on to our next island. There you go. 35 mil defense sword, 200. Next island is the Frozen Village. Here, guys, there's a cave again. Uh, ability teacher. Make sure to buy the air jump. Aura. Later, we're gonna buy the flash step. We don't have enough money yet. Okay, so again... There you go. Some tips here on defeating snow bandits. Just head in a house, lure them. You can damage them, but they cannot damage you. I don't know why. They're using sword. <laughs> okay. So guys, again, reminder, make sure to look for chests here. There you go. See that guys, we obtained two times experience, which will make our grinding faster. Our goal with the snow bandits is 105. After that, our next target is the Yeti. I think we have enough money. Yeah. 127,000. Let's buy the flash step. This is important so you can like uh, blink. Oh, another chest. Let's defeat this one. There you go. This is a flash step. They have their own flash step or Soru. <laughs> you go. Know, hope you get a two times experience. Okay. Actually, guys, they're kind of powerful because, again, most of our stats is allotted in the sword stat. So, yeah, we should have increased our defense. Anyways, the Eddie. Guys, if you're in a public server, there are also lots of players who do server hop with this one. Yeah, we're gonna do server hop. Guys, technique, 
just in case there's someone grinding like this one guys make sure to damage the yeti don't don't mind him uh, it's okay if he kill us we will still get the experience see that guys he died <laughs> anyways he will be getting experience too there you go anyways for our target it's level 130 guys we're getting near oh we got two times experience so we're gonna defeat one more yeti and check that experience 32 two level ups for the stats melee 50 defense 60 sword 200 86 moving on next up guys is the marine fortress so here our target is the boss again vice admiral you, need, you also need this guys the requirement in order to get a v2 you need 1 million bounty so it's a good thing that we're defeating bosses and the technique here guys just lure him here wall strat so there there are times that he will jump towards this area but if he did not jump just uh exchange positions right there you go you will get hit sometimes with this uh, skill, but it's fine, guys. We have enough defense to tank the damage. See that? Okay, so just continue on hitting him. Easy kill, guys. Easy kill. So for our goals here, uh, we will reach 220 here. And that is the requirement to unlock the saber, right? It's 220. Okay, there you go. So we're going to server up here. Also, there are lots of other players here. So yeah, you will, get, you will die most likely, but... Just don't mind it. Oh, guys, Greybeard killed us. Anyways, we reached 220 with that kill with the help of the Budo user. So now we're gonna head to the jungle. This is the first part of the puzzle quest to unlock the saber, okay? So, what is our first puzzle, guys? Look for the green squares. There you go. If you tap them, they will turn green. We have five here. You've already seen all three. On the other island, there are two more that is one and two okay after this a door will open under the quest giver here it is and just go under and you will find a torch okay there go oh cursed chest it's kind of hard to dodge here <laughs> okay i think we can defeat this one we're almost dead uh just left clicks okay okay anyways i thought we we're clear here but Check it out. See that, guys? Shark Anchor user, which means he should be in the third sea. I don't know why he's here. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Let's just get a torch. Guys, if you die, you need to get torch again. Okay, after that, we're gonna head to the desert. There's a house here. There you go, with a red door. You're gonna use the torch to burn this one. And then, inside it is a cup. There you go. Get the cup. Next up, head to the frozen village. Guys, uh, the cave where ability tree is, you can get water. See that, guys? Uh, dirty water, <laughs> give it to the sick man. And there you go. Okay, after that, head to the pirate village. There's a rich man here. Talk to him and he will ask you to defeat the mob leader. There is the rich man. Okay, and then head to the small island in between pirate the village and this one uh, marine fortress and here you will find the mob leader so guys is he hard to defeat no <laughs> level 200 you can also even use uh what they call this wall strat but no need guys okay after defeating him just go back to the rich man he will give you a relic and that relic is the key to unlocking the saber there you go guys now just head to the jungle just insert the relic and that's it oh let's server hop to find the saber there you go saber expert so guys what you can do here is just lure him here and use left clicks and that's it okay he might damage you sometimes but yeah he cannot burst you so that's it guys after that you will now get the saber also this is the requirement to get observation hockey i think yeah on the upper sky there you go that's it saber now time to go back and grind Okay, so we're here at the prison, yeah, 220, we're just gonna do, again, boss fights to get more bounty. So we're gonna do wall strat, that is the first boss, Warden. So left clicks and that's it, very easy guys. Okay, he cannot damage you. Chief Warden at 230, that's the same. How about Swan guys? The Swan can damage us here, sadly, yeah, sadly the Swan can damage us. There you go, as you can see, there you go guys. Also, Deadly Rush, we will be unlocking that skill at level uh, Mastery 50. So, I'm gonna show you the Deadly Rush. 
But before that, check this out. Okay, I think we're gonna die here. <laughs> he's looking, he's looking. Again, we are grinding in the public server, so there is a high chance that someone will kill us. See that, guys? <laughs> but, again, we already damaged this mob and we will be getting experience. This only works for bosses, okay? So here is the Deadly Rush at Master 50. There you go. Not bad, guys, actually. Uh, Saber really improved on how it looks like. Okay. So again, level 330. We're gonna start defeating the Chief Warden. Again, strategy is the same. Wall strat. And again, at 240, that is the time that we will defeat Swan. So again, Swan can damage you here, but don't worry, guys. We have enough uh, defense to tank his attacks. Just try to avoid the strings, okay? The the, the combo, I, I don't know the name of that. <laughs> so now we will be unlocking the final skill, the triple slash. Here it is, long range attack. Guys, I really love this sword for sea beast hunts or SB hunting. I don't know why. Maybe because you can hit him with all your skills and it's easy, right? So for the stats, there you go, 140 melee, defense 165, all in the sword. Guys, after 350, we will head to the magma village. So here, there's only one boss, uh, magma admiral. There you go. So we're gonna grind him. So he's here. There you go, use your skills. Guys, you need to dodge a lot here because he can really damage you high enough. Like, I think two skills, he can burst us. So make sure to dodge every time, every after you use your own skills. So again, the key here is uh, patience. There you go, after your skill, use your own skill. Z skill, you can even use your left clicks, but yeah, don't, don't, don't gamble. Like, don't risk. There you go, after your skill. Okay, wait for your skills to cool down. That's it. Boom. And dodge, dodge. He's about to use his skill. Wait for it. Wait for it. There you go. <laughs> Almost. Bam. Z skill. Now that I think of it, I think this strategy applies to almost all the bosses. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna make this one fast. We're gonna reach level 425 here. And after that, we are now ready to head to the next island. What island is that, Gamer Nom? You're gonna find out, but first, here you go. Stat check, 200 mil defense, 875 sword. Next island is the Whirlpool, and under that is where the underwater city is located. Okay, target here is Fishman Lord. Technique Gamer Nom, uh, Wall Strap. There you go. Yeah, there is a chance that he might damage you, but yeah, it's fine, guys. Again, we have enough a uh, defense to tank his damage. Alright, so just use your left clicks. There you go. Easy, yes, easy. Again, server hop. We should use server hop here in order to get more bounties. So we're gonna do this until level 500, then after that. Guys, this is the area where we will be unlocking the V2. So make sure to check this one out. <laughs> this one will be funny, guys, because again, you need to do PvP, right? So we're gonna search for enemies in the upper sky while grinding this mob. What mob is it? Whisper, right? There you go. So Whisper is easy to defeat. Just lure him here and wait for him to use his cannon and left clicks and some skills okay so that is our first goal there you go okay so after that guys uh there's a high chance that you will die okay if you don't like uh create distance see that guys the damage just two hits and just one left click or m1 of this boss like normal attack you will die see that guys <laughs> so make sure to uh just chill okay and be patient on your attacks Anyways, don't forget to buy the Observation Hockey here because again, we will be fighting other players here. So yeah, it's almost good to be ready and this will be an advantage. So at level 515, getting the Observation Hockey will be a great advantage, right? So this is the Instinct or Observation Hockey. There you go. Okay, so this will be great. Now, time to fight an enemy. So as you can see guys, this one first... He attacked us, okay? Venom Fruit user, so I think we're at a disadvantage. Check that out, guys. Check the damage. We're almost dead. 60, 80 HP. <laughs> oh, no. So we're just gonna wait for timing. Where is he? There he is. It's hard to see at first because our uh, observation hockey level is low. We're gonna wait for timing. There you go. Blink. Left click. Uh, okay. <laughs> see, guys, something weird has occurred to your saber, which means... It is now Saber 2. Okay, that is 1-0. And guys, check this out. 
he went straight back and attacked us. So now I don't know if we can defeat him. There you go, guys. We got damage again. Okay. Hmm. He likes using oh, guys. Venom fruit really is not easy to deal with, right? Especially if he has transformation. I think we're we're dead. Oh, ah, uh, he's using the advantage. His advantage of flying in the air. We're gonna hide here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> guys, we're gonna reset, okay? <laughs> Is that bad? <laughs> Is that cheating? Uh, guys, take note, he can fly, and we can. This Is Is this still round two, guys? So, okay, yeah, okay. See that, guys? That's two, zero, one more. <laughs> Yash, don't play. Okay, sorry, sorry. Where is he? Oh, there you go. Boog! <laughs> okay, this will I think this will be easy. Okay, okay, run, 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 run. Where is he? Oh, I think it's oh, okay. There you go. And yeah, let's wait for him to go down. See that? Oops. Okay, almost. Guys, he likes using. Oh, okay, why? Why does he keep on using F skill? Especially when he's damaged, because again, he will be faster, right? And once you get hit by that, boom. But there's a high chance that we can damage him if he does that again. Yeah. Okay, just left click and we're good. Left click. Oh, no, no, no. We need to run. Our uh, energy is kind of low now. See that, guys? That's your mistake. Oh, oh we ran out of energy. Can we still beat him? Let's just time it, guys. Waiting, waiting. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh. Okay. Oh. Timing, timing, guys. Timing. Okay, I think we're gonna win here. One more. Ooh. <laughs> That's 3-0. Anyways, guys, finally, oh, he's ang angry. <laughs> One more, boom. And then he told us this one, I'll report you. What? Can you report us? But you hit me first. You're ruining, okay, guys, I think we're ruining our own grinding. So we're going to go back and grind this whisper. <laughs> guys, did you enjoy that? PvP uh, clip. <laughs> Anyways, 625 is our target here. Here are the stats. And after this, we will now head to the Fountain City. Okay, so now we just need to defeat. Oh, someone's crying here. We just need to defeat Galley Pirates. Okay, so there are two choices just lure four, defeat them, or defeat them one at a time. I suggest defeating them one at a time because it's easier. You don't need to lure, and you can do wall strat here. Just lure one, jump, and that's it. Wall strat, right? Okay, guys, so I hope that's clear. There you go. Okay. And that is how we will reach level 700 here. So, guys, I'm thinking of like uh, making a video on one to max using Dark Blade. If you want, just comment it in the comment section. Again, we've reached level 700, and I hope that you enjoyed this one. To all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom, and Gamer Nom out.